is our unboxing of the new HTC One M9 that was introduced at Mobile World Congress 2015 in Barcelona last week. We already received our review unit, uh, but we guess that this isn't the final retail packaging. Normally, HTC just sends blank white boxes with its review samples. This time, we got a nice package. If you ask us here on the front, you can see HTC One M9, and we got a very special texture. But here on the side and also on the back you find completely nothing and that leaves us to the conclusion or lets us to the conclusion that this isn't the final packaging but we will see in the end of March when this phone will be released at least here in Germany I guess also in the UK and in the United States but let's open it up because uh, yeah everything else should be what you get with the retail packaging of course you get the phone this is the HTC One M9 in the new gold on silver uh, color and we will have a look at it very very shortly but let's also see what else comes in the package as I said uh, this should uh, be the same that comes in your package but you will also get something for warranty a quick start guide and so on all the stuff that you normally don't read but here of course we got our power adapter of course uh, for Germany if you live in the UK or in the United States you will have another one uh, but nothing special your typical HTC power adapter also the headset isn't anything special these are the same in-ear headphones that we uh, know from the HTC One M7 or the HTC One M8 with this black and red but they look nice and they also don't don't sound too bad if these are the same and you of course got these here so that the headphones fit exactly to your ears and you also have a micro USB cable just in black so nothing special and last but not least we also have this HTC SIM eject tool uh, with this little tape here uh, as you can see HTC is printed here but this is also nothing special we already know it from older HTC smartphones so that is everything that's in the box now let's have a look at the smartphone so this is it this is the new HTC One M9 it's nearly identical uh, from the measures as the HTC One M8 so not really bigger but also not taller uh, it weighs around 157 grams which is also very very similar to the HTC One M8 but it's not that slippery anymore that was something that many many people complained about with the HTC One M8 but this should have been improved here with the HTC the HTC One M8 so not really bigger but also not taller uh, it weighs around 157 grams which is also very very similar to the HTC One M8 but it's not that slippery anymore that was something that many many people complained about with the HTC One M8 but this should have been improved here with the HTC One M9. Then on the front we find our 5 inch SLCD 3 panel with a full HD or a full HD resolution 1920 by 1080 and 441 pixels per inch. Then also our notification LED, the boom sound speakers that should have been improved compared to the last models they also come with Dolby Audio but we have to test that of course and here we also got our 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera um, which should be very very good for selfies in bad light conditions but yeah that's what we want to see here also an HTC logo um, and we still got very big bezels compared to something like an LG G3 for example that's also something a few people complained about but yeah we can't change that but of course we got on-screen buttons and as we already said here the boom sound speakers then the frame the frame is or has kind of a goldish color whereas the back is silver and that's something new because HTC has managed it to get two colors uh, out of this aluminum although we still have a unibody design so this is pretty cool also looks and feels very very premium we of course got our nano sim slot then on the bottom micro usb port 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and on the right side uh, we got a big change because the power button is now on the right side and not on the top anymore which is pretty cool because you can just reach it more easily also the buttons for volume up and down and also a slot for a micro sd card you get 32 gigabytes of internal storage and it can of course be 
expanded and then on the top we still got our IR blaster uh, for controlling our TV for example. So now we are at the back. Um, as you can see here, this is the silver model, this is the flagship color, there will also be a version in that is completely gold, a pink version and also the black version that we know from last year, but now the silver version isn't matte anymore, it reminds us more of the gunmetal grey um, yeah, look from last year. Uh, so we got a new change, this is the 20 megapixel main camera with a sensor made by Toshiba and also a dual photo LED. We are re really, 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 really keen to see how this camera performs. We also made a camera comparison between the Galaxy S6, the iPhone 6 and the HTC One M9 and the One M9 didn't perform that great but that wasn't the final retail software. So we have to see whether anything has been improved here. We also got a 280 uh, or a 20 840 milliamp hour battery, excuse me, that is of course built in so you can't change it or at least you shouldn't change it, you probably can change it. Uh, let's also power the device on and see uh, whether there is battery remaining uh, and I'll give you the rest of the specs. We have of course Android 5.0 Lollipop with H HTC's very own Sense UI in version 7. As an SoC we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8010, or, uh, excuse me, just the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 octa-core SoC. 3 gigabytes of RAM and of course also LTE. So this was our unboxing of the new HTC One M9. We will now of course test this device and then uh, our full review, our written review, you will find it on taptech.com and of course our video here on YouTube. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.